Referee Robert Briscoe checking Brick House Brown returning to Music City Wrestling. And he'll take on Wolfie D. And right away, before the referee can get anything going, Wolfie D is attacked by Brick House Brown. And Brick House Brown, talk about somebody out of the hood. Here's a man that can pierce six it with anybody in professional wrestling. And I'll tell you what else is interesting about it, Michael. Both these guys well known for their prowess as a tag team in tag team competition. But tonight, you see them both going to try and prove themselves in singles competition. Well, the fact of the matter is, you got Brick House Brown, who was a member of the Gangsters. You got Wolfie D of PG-13. You got two wrestlers in here that know no rules, defi defining their own rules as they go on. And right there, Wolfie D almost on a three count on Brickhouse. Look at this. And Brickhouse Brown goes flying out of the ring and onto the floor here at the Nashville Fairgrounds Arena. And you're absolutely right, Michael. Both these guys, they're from the hood. They break all the rules. I don't know which one is a bigger hoodlum. Well, you said it, Paul Adams, and I didn't. And I'm not going to agree with you a lot of the time. But right now, I'm going to because these two men I have seen more dastardly deeds done by both of them and they have no sense of pain for their body right there you see Wolfie D crammed into the steel pole of the ring head first and this man he had no no business doing that to him Brickhouse Brown rammed Wolfie D's head right into the ring pole but you know what I said they're both a couple of hoodlums but I didn't say I disliked either one you would probably like the style of both of them if you had it your way, knowing you and your managerial ability and where you come up with this. This is the kind of wrestling that you think is the new generation of wrestling right here. That's exactly right. And given my temperament tonight, you might have to hold me back and I might go down there. Right now, Brickhouse Brown taking the measure of Wolfie D as he has just gone, if you would, to the hood with his tactics and techniques in the ring, putting Wolfie D back into the ring. And I'm a little surprised right now that Brickhouse hasn't, if you would, gone for the kill. And you know what? I've mentioned to people around here, especially Burt Prentice, what the referees are like in this town. He better watch out for Wolfie D's hubcap. I don't even see it down there. He could use that at any time. Well, the fact of the matter, Paul Adams, is that Wolfie D has a very important match right here in Nashville, Tennessee, right here in this arena tonight, as he will be taking on his former partner, Flash Flanagan, in a no-time limit, no-disqualification main event where falls will count anywhere in Davidson County. That's exactly right. And evidently, see, you weren't here last time when Flash turned on Wolfie D. Basically, what he did is he gave him a folding chair necklace, and it looks like Wolfie D's wanting to wear one again. This Saturday night, tonight, in Nashville. Brickhouse Brown softening up Wolfie D after pounding his head into the steel ring pole earlier in this match. And Brickhouse, head first, found nobody home. And that hard head of Brickhouse Brown went face first into the mat. And Wolfie D decides to take measures into his own hands. And I'm surprised, honestly, to see Brickhouse backing up here. Usually both these guys are full steam ahead. Wolfie D putting Brickhouse Brown up on the throne, if you would. The top turnbuckle goes in, goes behind. What's he going to do? Oh, my goodness. High risk maneuver off that top rope. And Bulldog into the center of the mat. Boy, what, what is this, Paul? Flanagan just hit the ring. Flanagan just hit the ring. Flash Flanagan coming in from nowhere. Referee Robert Briscoe calling for the bell. And Flash Flanagan going to get started on Wolfie D early. Puts him into the ropes and drops him around the neck, the neck right into the top ring rope. And Wolfie D now being double teamed by Brickhouse Brown and Flash Flanagan. We better get some help for Wolfie D from PG-13. I want to see what kind of condition he's in tonight for that match in Nashville now. Look at that. DDT and Wolfie D is down. Flash Flanagan very proud of himself. Well, anytime you get two on one, that's what's going to happen. Well, they keep ringing the bell here. They may give him a 10 count tonight. That may be the end of the career for Wolfie D. We hope not. Let's take a break. We'll be back with more Music City Wrestling after this.